Problem number three. A hydroelectric power plant uses spinning turbines to transform the kinetic energy of moving water into electric energy with 80% efficiency. That is, 80% of the kinetic energy becomes electric energy. A small hydroelectric power plant at the base of the dam generates 50 megawatts of electric power when the falling water has a speed of 18 meters per second. What is the water flow rate, kilograms of water per second, through the turbines? So you have water going, you know, from falling from something where, which has potential energy, which turns into kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy, which is one half mv squared, is going to spin turbines that generate electric power. And this is this is power, remember, so power is work over change in time, and work is connected to the change in kinetic energy over time. In this case, though, we know that the power it's generating is going to depend, it's going to have 80% efficiency. So this change in kinetic energy is going to be the original kinetic energy times the 0.8. You can think of it like that. And if we have this kinetic energy being 1 half mv squared, we plug this in, 1 half mv squared times our 0.8 efficiency divided by change in time. Here is where that m over delta t shows up. That's what we're looking for, the, the water flow rate or the mass flow rate, how much mass is passing through at any given, or for a given second. So we want to isolate that fraction, m over delta t. To do that, we're going to, well, we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides. We're going to divide by 0.8 and divide by v squared. So 2 times p over 0.8 times v squared. That's going to cancel everything out over here and leave us with m over delta t. And this is what we want, so we just got to figure out what this is. And 2 over 0.8 is 2.5 p over v squared. P is 50 megawatts. Remember that mega is times 10 to the 6 watts, so that way we can have it in SI units and get everything back in SI units. And our V is 18. So we plug those in. We'll have 2.5 times P 50 E to the 6 and divide by 18 squared. So we get 3, 8, 5, 8, 2. You can write this 1, 2, 3. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3.86 times 10 to the five since we moved to five and that's going to be in kilograms per second so that's different from what they have in the answers and I think this is a mistake because this answer here you can get that number if you divide over here by 0.8 instead of multiply but it makes sense that if you lose efficiency then you're gonna need more water to flow through to get the same value so the higher number even makes more sense if you're just confused about, you know, do I multiply, divide? Well, if you were to put the point in on the bottom, you're going to get a smaller number, which means that you can get the same amount of energy, but with less water. It doesn't make sense for, for using, for that, that doesn't make sense for accounting for a loss of efficiency. Anyway, that's it for this problem. I'm done.